So I wanted to riff on uh, what you had said. Uh, there's a great post which I'll throw on the Slack channel about, uh, about feature toggles, which is kind of what he's talking about, right? There are lots of different kinds of feature toggles. This article will go through all of them. But the point I wanted to make uh, was this idea of decoupling decision points from the decision logic. So what he was saying was there's a thousand different places where uh, where this question was asked about whether we're in local development mode. And what he pointed out was that's not actually the question. The question was, should I be allowed to masquerade as this person, right? That's a really complicated question. They can't really be answered by, are we in development mode? Um, so if you separate that section, um, separate the code that asks that question from what the actual question is, you get a lot of freedom. So uh, a little while ago, we created um, this consumer protection policy uh, for senior citizens. Um, we make a special phone call out to make sure that, uh, that they really understand the financing product they're getting. Um, for most states, it's really basic. But California is really quite complicated. So we had the need to, to ask, is this phone call required? is consumer protection generally required. Um, it's really pretty small, but this is just the general case. And the point is, it has a, a really one single public method, which is, is it required? Do we have to do this call? The reason I bring it up is that um, we only had it in one place in the beginning, which seemed pretty reasonable. Uh, by this point, it is now in this many places. And about a month afterwards, we got a request to add some new, new changes. And I became really super glad we put this in class because I could add these two methods and kind of chain them through the one single uh, top level. Uh, the other thing it gave us was the ability to kind of post-state. So this is the California one. It's a lot more complicated, but it starts the same way. Is it required? Uh, kind of asks a second question. Is this call required? Well, this one wasn't supposed to take effect until a certain date. So we needed to ask, is this policy in effect? Has the law actually come into, into effect? Into effect? Uh, if so, yes, we need to do it. Otherwise, before that point when the law came into effect, we had a slightly less restrictive option. Um, and in California, we have to call everyone. It doesn't matter your age, we have to call you and make sure you understand the product. Um, but prior to that point, it was only uh, senior citizens. So this, this policy in effect became really, really critical um, because it allowed us to do things with feature flags and environment variables, and it allowed us just kind of like throw that in. Because at the end, like this date is way past. And if I can type well, I can, I can freely delete that. Nothing has really changed. And I didn't have to work on this many files. Because it was already. The decision logic, the policy, should we do this thing, is separate from the place where we care about that question. So uh, this is the general pattern. Um, if you're interested in feature toggles, I highly recommend this article. Even if you don't get the link, um, it's got all these really cool graphs uh, that show you all the different types of toggles and gives them proper names so you can have real discussions about it. If you go to martinfowler.com, and type in feature toggles, you will find it. Thank you. That's it.